you look at large mammals in Africa, in Asia, in North America and Europe, they're gone for most of the places. This is what sets India apart. We have 1.4 billion people trying to live aside some of the highest densities of animals in the world. There's no doubt that human-wildlife conflict is increasing. In a country with so many people whose lives we need to make better, how are we going to create space for wildlife? Do you put wildlife first or people first? The reality is you have to put both of them first. This is where I saw my first tiger, my first leopard, my first every animal. It was also where I saw my dad collar tigers, learn to track tigers with him. It's just very hard to capture with words the extraordinary beauty of each of these animals. As a scientist, I was publishing, but all of this work wasn't making an ounce of a difference in anybody's lives. We are dealing with the poorest people in India. If they're lucky, they may live on $1,000 a year, not a month, a year. So when a herd of elephants comes through and tramples your crops, six months of your income just wiped off the table. The hardest one is when you have a family member killed or injured. I don't think there's a single solution to resolving human-wildlife conflict. We have to play the long and the short game. The short game is dealing with the immediate crisis. When you have a leopard on your roof, who do you call? The idea was like an emergency toll-free hotline for wildlife. You could file a claim and receive money from the government. We've done almost 29,000 of these claims. We partner with farmers, shifting them to growing things that still give you an income, but don't attract animals. The long game is inspiring our kids to care about animals. We've gone to 1,200 schools. We worked with 55,000 children, getting them excited about their wildlife. Oh, God, America's alive. We are science and technology driven, and we are very ambitious about scale. I don't want to live in a planet without tigers and elephants and bears and wolves and leopards. I don't. And once gone, you cannot bring these wildlife back. We have solutions. We have hundreds of ways we can uplift people so that you create the space for wildlife. It's about taking these solutions as far wide as quickly as possible.